Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Healthy Lifestyle A to Z. This is Letty Smith. I'm going to be sharing easy, fast, healthy recipes with you. Stay tuned. Today's recipe, how to make sushi rice and a California roll with cream cheese. Here's a list of ingredients. You're going to need two cups short grain rice or sushi rice, three cups water, filtered water, a quarter of a cup of sugar, half cup rice vinegar, and a pinch of salt. It could be Himalayan or any salt that you want. Get a strainer and what you're going to do is you're going to rinse your rice very, very well. I do it maybe like for three, four minutes and I use hot water and I rinse until the water comes out very, very clear. Get your rice cooker ready. You're going to add your rice and your water and then you're just going to set it for white rice. That's it. And you just let it cook and when it's ready, well meanwhile, you're going to get a pot and add the rice vinegar. You're going to add the sugar, you're going to add the pinch of salt and just let it simmer. You're going to let it cool down. So when your rice is ready, transfer your rice to a bowl, you're going to let it cool down, add your rice vinegar mixture, you're going to mix it very well and be sure not to skip this step because this is very important in the consistency of your white rice. And what I'm going to be showing you today is how to make a California roll, but it's a little bit modified because I like cream cheese. And so I just added some cream cheese. So here's a list of ingredients for your sushi roll. This makes eight sushi rolls. You're going to need your sushi rice, uh, two cups of rice and three cups of water in the rice cooker, four sticks of crab imitation, one cream cheese, your eight nori sheets, one avocado, one chunian cucumber, and your toasted sesame seeds in order to sprink, sprinkle your sushi roll. So now get your mat ready and get your, your nori sheet. You're going to put the shiny part facing down. It's very important that you wet your hands in order to be able to work with your rice because if not it's going to get all sticky. It's going to get all stuck in your hands. So grab some rice and start spreading the rice on top of your nori sheet. Grab more water, get more rice until you cover your nori sheet. Keep on spreading it until you cover all of it except the edge. So don't go all the way to the edge. And that's when you're going to sprinkle your roll with the sesame seeds. Turn it over. Once you turn your nori sheet with the rice, you're going to start adding all your, the rest of your ingredients. So cut your cream cheese. Also, you need to wet your knife. If you don't wet it, it's going to get all stuck in your, in your knife. Make sure you have a very sharp knife in order to cut your sushi rolls and to cut your cream cheese. So start aligning your cream cheese and you're going to do it kind of like in the edge but you're still going to leave like a space because then you're going to start rolling it. So now you're going to add your crab imitation, you're going to add your cucumbers, you're going to add your avocado, I love avocado. Make sure you leave some bamboo on the upper part because that's going to be that's going to go over your sushi roll. So what you're going to do is tuck it. You're going to roll it and tuck it in. And then you're going to roll it again and then squeeze. You 
gonna put some pressure on it so you're you're making uh, like the shape of your sushi roll and then you're gonna roll it again tuck it and squeeze it again put some pressure and you're gonna repeat that until you finish making your sushi roll this is very easy but you need a little bit of practice maybe your first roll is not gonna be like wow but then after a while you're gonna you're gonna be fine and you're gonna enjoy making it and then you're gonna try with different ingredients and you're gonna start uh, improvising and then you can invite your friends over and you can eat all sushi and all be part of it so you need a very sharp knife and you're gonna wet it you're gonna cut your sushi in half you're gonna place it together you're gonna wet your knife again and you're gonna start cutting pieces I will get rid of the edge well I eat them before putting them on the plate because they don't look very appealing so really I don't get rid of it this is a lot of fun I really enjoy making sushi rolls and what I do is I make my sushi sauce and it's just with coco minos and some lemon and that's your dipping sauce or you can also make like a spicy mayo with a vegetarian mayonnaise and some shirasha or chili garlic and that would be that would taste great too so here's your sushi roll ready to eat I invite you to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Next week's recipe is going to be garbanzo patties. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned and see you next time.